Okay guys, today we're going to go over this foot model for your upcoming exam. So as we can see, this is a right foot. And right here we have the tibia. And in here you can see we have the fibula. And in between we have the interosseous membrane. So our muscles of the lower leg are subdivided into three compartments, the anterior, the lateral, and the posterior compartment. We're going to start here with the anterior compartment. So right up against the tibia, we have the tibialis anterior and its tendon. Then following right here, we have the extensor hallucis longus and its tendon. And right here, we have the extensor digitorum longus and its tendons going and fanning to the other four digits. We also have the extensor digitorum brevis that you can see underneath these other tendons. Now, this nerve that is descending down is the superficial fibular nerve which subdivides into the medial and lateral dorsal cutaneous nerves, as well as we have here the superior and inferior extensor retinacula. Now just remember the inferior extensor retinacula is shaped like a Y and has two bands to it. So now we'll be moving on to the lateral compartment. So if you can see here, we have two distinct muscles on the lateral compartment, which help in eversion of the foot. Now, first up, we have the peroneus longus muscle, as well as its long tendon. And on top of that, we have the peroneus brevis muscle. And these are both innervated by the deep peroneal nerve, which is not shown here. The peroneus longus tendon twists underneath the peroneus brevis tendon and continues on here and actually inserts in the cuboidal groove of the cuboid muscle underneath. So that is the lateral compartment. Now coming here to the posterior, we have here the Achilles tendon, which is made up of a combination of the tendons of both the gastrocnemius as well as the soleus muscles. So we're just going to get rid of that guy here. And now we're here in the deep muscles of the posterior compartment. Now if you can see here, we have three distinct muscles in the posterior compartment. Now first off, we have the flexor digitorum longus, which continues all the way back here. Now this tendon, as it continues, and it's not well seen on this model, the flexor digitorum longus tendon continues and goes through the groove of the sustentaculum talli, which is a part of the um, calcaneus bone. And I'll try and show you that once we get down to there. So flexor digitorum longus, and just here, a little more um, in the center, we have the flexor hallucis longus. Now don't get confused because the flexor hallucis longus is a little more lateral than uh, the flexor digitorum longus, and that's because their fibers cross back here, so don't get confused. And then this muscle that we can see right up against the tibia as well as the interosseous membrane, we have the tibialis posterior. Makes sense. So this um, nerve and artery that we have back here, we have the tibial nerve in yellow as well as the posterior tibial artery in red. So now we will be coming to the plantar section of the foot. So this right here is the plantar aperneuroses. This is the first of four layers of the um, dorsal layers of, or sorry, the plantar layers of the foot. So after the plantar aperneuroses, here we have the flexor digitorum brevis. Just looking at that. We also now here have um, the abductor hallucis longus this is the abductor, remember, so it's moving your hallux in a, um, well, technically medially, but away from the midline of the foot, as well as we have here the abductor digiti minimi. So 
So moving these, we're going on to our third layer of plantar muscles, right here with the pl uh, quadratus plantae muscle. It's a quadrangular shaped muscle, as well as you can see the tendons from the flexor digitorum uh, longus muscle over here, and this would be going underneath the sustentaculum talli at this point. So we also have the medial as well as the lateral um, plantar nerve and artery shown here in red and yellow respectively. Sorry, yellow and red respectively. And here we have the tendon of the um, flexor hallucis longus tendon. So removing that, we're continuing on, and we have the uh, flexor hallucis brevis muscle, and this is actually divided into a medial head, shown here, and a lateral head over here. We also have the adductor hallucis muscle, and this is also subdivided into a transverse head and an oblique head, if you can see that. Then we also have the flexor digitorum, sorry, the flexor digiti minimi, right here. And these are the muscles, tendons, nerves, and arteries of your right foot.